Today, I am going to show you how to create seamless tossed pattern repeats entirely in Procreate. Here are some examples of patterns that I've made using this method. So you can see, you can do this with a variety of different complexities. What I'm going to show you in the demonstration is going to be a super simple pattern so that you can follow along because the main thing that I wanna show you here is the technique. So I hope that this helps you. Let's get into it. I am going to select the standard square canvas size from the pre-selections list. So this is a 2048 by 2048 pixel canvas. Now, because Procreate is primarily a drawing program, it doesn't have some of the tools that you would typically want when creating patterns. However, by using a few clever tricks within the program, we're going to be able to create a perfectly repeating pattern that is totally seamless without any guesswork. So to set up a brand new canvas for this, you just need one layer to start and begin by dragging a color to fill the entire layer. Then tap the transform tool. And before we transform anything, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the transform setting is on uniform. So it will scale proportionately and also that magnetics are turned on. And then over here, you're going to be sure that the interpolation is set to bilinear. This essentially dictates how the pixels will render as you move and scale them. So setting it to bilinear will ensure the least amount of distortion. Now grab one of the corner nodes, starting with the lower right corner and drag this inward toward the center, reducing the scale until the square snaps to 50%. This is how you're gonna be able to ensure an absolutely crisp selection and it'll make sure that your repeats are totally seamless. From here, you can tap the transform arrow to release the square, and then in the layers panel, select the layer contents. Now you can select the layer contents a couple of different ways. You can either tap the layer to bring up the side menu and choose select from the menu, or you can use two fingers to press and hold on the layer until it selects the contents. Once the lower selection toolbar appears, if you tap save and load here, you can then tap the plus sign to save this selection. Then tap the selection tool to exit this selection and we're going to repeat for the remaining quadrants. You can use color drop to fill in the empty space outside this square to fill the remaining part of the layer. And then use the transform tool to scale the layer contents, this time dragging from the lower left corner. Scale it until it snaps to 50% and then tap the transform tool once again to release the object. Then in the layers panel, select layer contents and go down and save this as your second selection. Now we're gonna repeat for the third quadrant using color drop to fill and then tapping the transform tool. Now, if you shift the layer slightly or scale it down a bit without snapping to 50%, it's definitely best to go back and undo these moves rather than pushing forward, trying to correct them or realign it. Even the slightest shift or misalignment can throw off the precision of the scale and the selection and might result in a seam in your pattern later on. So scale it down 50%, tap into the layers panel, select the layer contents and save the selection. Now we'll repeat for the last quadrant. Once you have your four saved selections, you can clear this square from the layer. To create this pattern, I am going to add in a second layer and then select both of these layers and tap group. And then on the lower layer, I am going to use color drop to fill the bottom layer. Moving on to the second layer with this purple color, I'm gonna use the Vincent Painter brush and create a simple pattern of these repeating plus signs. Now you'll generally want to distribute the elements of your pattern across the canvas, but a key thing to remember as you are working in this initial step and later on is to stay away from crossing over the edges. You can get close, but don't draw over the edges. Once I've pretty much filled my pattern, I'm going to flip the quadrants to create the actual repeat. So to do this, in my layers panel, I'm going to collapse the group and then keeping the group selected, I'm going to tap the selection tool. Then on the toolbar down here, under save and load, I'm going to tap selection one. 
From here, I'm gonna tap the transform tool and instead of moving or scaling anything, I'm just going to tap on this bottom bar to flip this horizontally and then flip it vertically. So the outside corner becomes the center of the pattern. And then I'm tapping the transform tool once again to release the selection. Now we're going to repeat those steps for the remaining three quadrants. Once they are all flipped, you can go back into the layer group and you can move the elements around, add more, rescale the elements, whatever you need to do to fill in the gaps and kind of perfect the pattern. Then to test it out and see how the pattern looks as a repeat, we're going to go into the layers panel, duplicate the layer group, and then tap the duplicate to bring up the side menu and then select flatten. And this becomes our test layer. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer so that I have four total flattened layers. And just like before, I am going to use my transform tool to scale each layer down until it snaps to 50%. This is a super easy way to align the pattern without having to do any guesswork or manually move things around. Now you can see once I'm done, the seams are totally invisible. And so that's the really nice thing about using the Snap2 magnetics and the uniform selection is that it's completely precise. If you wanna check out a written version, the step-by-step -step process will be linked on my blog below in the description. I also did a Design Cuts Live session on this and did a more complex pattern. If you wanna follow along with a specific project, that is also linked below. Definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helps. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss a video Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.